So if you're new here, I'm a minimalist and here we do things a little bit different. If you click on a video that says minimalist travel setup, you will actually get a minimal travel setup and not the newest and fanciest tech gear out there. You will find here proven gear and items that have passed the test of time and have been using for many many months or even years. With that being said, let's get started. And before you run and buy everything down in the description, please consider use your gear that you already have and put the things you like from this video maybe on a wish list or something for family and friends. Charging of course is essential. No matter if you're at home or traveling, we need to charge up our gear for the next day. And for that, I wanted a very specific charger. One that fits into all outlets whenever traveling without adapters. It has to offer at least two USB-C port and one USB-A port for all the devices or cables. It has to charge everything from my camera to my laptop to my phone and so on, all in one. And the Minix Neo P1 offers exactly that and even more. It is very tiny, yet still it provides enough power to charge even my MacBook Air M1 with its fastest charging speed. With its multiple ports, I can charge all my devices overnight and with only costing 30 bucks, it's a very good deal. I even gifted one to my brother and he probably loves it, at least I hope so. And even my wife approves it. And when a wife approves something, it has to mean something, right? We're even gonna buy a second one just because we love it so much. Now you have a charger, great, but you need a charging cable as well. And for that, I used the Rolling Square In Charge XL 3 meter version, right here. It's a super handy charging cable that offers all different ports. It's a six in one cable. That means it has everything from USB-A, USB-C, micro USB and lightning, all in one single cable, leaving you with this is the only cable you will ever need. And also the length of up to three meters makes it very easy to charge your laptop. For example, when you're sitting on the bed and the outlet is on the other side of the bed. Yes, sometimes hotels place their plugs very weird. The different ports come in the Swiss army knife design. By the way, the company is actually Swiss, so it is done very smart. The quality is very high. However, some of the fabric started to come off on the cable, but still it does its job. And considering that I'm using it nearly every day, it has been lasting for almost two years right now. So, well, yes, if you're looking for a new charging cable, this one might be it. And it might be the only one you will ever need. Another tech gadget from Rolling Squares that looks very weird is this cord. It doesn't just look fancy, it's actually very handy. It's basically an AirTag in card form. And since I use a card wallet, I can just swap this into my wallet and my, if I ever lose my wallet, it would be tracked. It has every feature that an AirTag has. Even more, it also has an NFC reader where you can, for example, create your own business card directly on it. I've bought this through Kickstarter as I wanted to support the company, but it is now released so you can buy it on the normal way. However, there's one downside and that is the battery is not replaceable. So once you run out of battery, you can send in the air card and I think you get a discount for a new one, but still it's not the most environmentally friendly way. So unless they make a, a replaceable battery version, I will probably not buy it again. And if you have seen my video from last week, you know I've went more into documenting my life. And for that, I use my trusty companion, the Ricoh GR3. It's a small little camera that captures awesome pictures and allows me to document my life every single day. Would I buy one today? Yes, definitely. It has been one of the best purchases in the past years but I would probably go for the HDF version. Basically, this has a high diffusion filter that softens up the highlight, makes a dreamy look and makes the picture look, honestly, very nice. Other than that, it's a perfect little camera that fits in your bag or your pocket. that's ready every time you want to capture a picture. And it also offers film recipes. That basically means I can create film looks and I don't have to edit my pictures later on when I transfer them directly to my phone. The camera is awesome. I've used it to create a photo book more on the video down in the description. 
And additionally, the fixed focal length keeps me creative and forces me to think outside the box. All these things go into my backpack and this is the Belroy Transit backpack, I think. Yes, it is. No matter if it's only for a few days, a whole week or even two weeks or going to work, I can fit everything inside this backpack, which I guess speaks for my packing skills, but also the backpack. Plus me being a minimalist definitely helps. But jokes aside, I have a history of going through a lot of backpacks in my 20s. I'm still in my 20s. And this backpack is the one I stuck for the longest because the pockets are really thought out. For example, the build quality is awesome and the durability very high. This backpack doesn't show any signs of wear and you definitely get what you pay for. The compartments are very smart and thought out. For example, in the laptop sleeve, there's a separate compartment for all my charging devices. The size is just right. It fits under an airplane seat and as I said, it's enough for me to travel for a week or even two. But not just that, it's also a good size for an everyday carry when I go to work at a water bottle, lunchbox and other things. Now when it comes to traveling with this backpack, I use Peak Design packing cubes, basically two in a size small and they compress my clothes so that I can stuff more into the bag. Plus they also offer a separate compartment for the clothes. I think these packing cubes are a bit expensive, but it also gives you a very nice quality and a lifetime warranty. Now when it comes to sling bags, I've previously made another video about my everyday carry during vacations where I have introduced my Bellroy sling bag. Honestly, it was awesome. It just was a little bit too big for what I wanted to pack with me. So I got something new. This one here is the Alpaca Go Sling Nano and it is tiny. It is very small. It's 1.5 liter, something like that and it fits everything I need to carry inside. For example, I can put in my camera, I can put in a small water bottle, I can get some wipes, tissues, wallet, passport and other things. It fits neatly, it looks good, plus it's very high quality for a very low price of about 50 bucks. And as I'm just traveling with a backpack, I have to carry all my liquids in the bag as well. And I basically store them for traveling in a TSA approved plastic bag. And all my liquids go into these Muchi travel containers. They're very cheap, they're durable, plus they come in very different sizes, makes uh, handling your liquids a breeze. I usually store them outside in the pocket of my bag so that they're ready to get grabbed whenever I have to go through the security check. Now I'm ready to go. Let me know if you have a gadget, a backpack that you love and cannot live without. Drop it down in the comments and also please leave a backpack icon down there so that I know that you made it till the end and that you liked this video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next week and have a great one.